Okay, so it's a new day. It's Monday. We're uh, headed to Breckenridge. We're going to do some trails out of Breckenridge and uh, check out some stuff out there. We're on Highway 9 here. We just stopped at a little pullout just to get a few photos and some videos of the uh, of the scenic area around here. So anyway, nice valley down this way. Uh, and then we've got the mountain range. The snow looks like it's finally starting to melt a little bit, a little bit less. But uh, so anyway, Breckenridge and trails around Breckenridge. We'll, we'll be back. Okay, so we're on Georgia Pass Trail, um, coming out of Breckenridge. So I've been feeling the effects of altitude. Had a really, really bad headache. I've had some nausea, a little bit of lightheadedness, and it's been going on basically uh, since we got to our cabin, but it was really bad this morning. So I'm taking ibuprofen and see if that'll help a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna stop and get a few shots here at this little, uh, little creek. So anyway, I had to stop and talk to another traveler there. So uh, yeah, with this uh, altitude stuff going on, I feel like I'm kind of slowing everybody down here, you know? It's kind of hard to get out and walk around. It's not so much the can't get any air, it's the head, exploding head. So anyway, uh, we got some, uh, got some remedy for it. We'll, we'll see how it goes.
that you need to go straight and then go left. Right there. So we gotta pull them out and zoom down the field. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna. Oh well, a lot of winching, winch malfunctions. I had to take the capacitor out that was in line. Uh, voltage regulator and it worked fine without that so ha huh, uh, Harbor Freight good one all right we'll be back oh it is is this your first time here you have to follow my tracks I don't think you're gonna get it without a winch Try to hit my line. Pass the head, oh passenger. Now go, hit it. Nope. Okay, just hold there for a second, Andreas. Okay, let's get the winch blanket out, kiddo. The winch blanket? Yes. I'll put on the cable. Okay, now. Why is it bird nested like that, Andreas? I don't know. Okay, so if you can see behind me, uh, it's a bus. It turns into a shelf road up there and it's just full of snowpack. So we're gonna go around and take the, uh, uh, another route. I think it's a southern route. It's not quite as high as this and see how we do on that one. Oh, well. Okay, so we made a big U-turn. Too much snow, shelf road, just not a good combo. So about a mile, about a mile and a half up the road, there's a lower route. So we're gonna get up to it. We're gonna check it out on uh, Gaia GPS and uh, see if we can uh, um, take that one. So we've picked up a, uh, a Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, Trail Edition, four-wheel drive, uh, driven by Kristoff and 
his wife Elizabeth and their two kids. They're behind us back there. We'll get you some footage of that. He's got a real nice rig and uh, they're going to tag along with us. So anyway, we'll, we'll be back in a few. Okay, so we found a homestead out here. Get a few shots. Okay, so we've come across a uh, an old abandoned mine here, so we're going to check that out a little bit, and uh, I think I might get the GoPro out and get some drone footage. We'll be back. Whoa! Get the fuzz out. So we met with Christoph Pete here and his wife Elizabeth. She's around here somewhere, kids. So uh, they ride on the trail and we helped uh, each other fight our way through a snowbank and then another snowbank. And uh, we've had enough fighting with snowbanks. So, uh, Christoph, tell us about your rig here. This is a pretty nice looking Grand Cherokee. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's nice. Not, it's not a trail hawk, it's a trail. It is a trail hawk. Trail hawk, okay, trail yes. hawk. Yes. And. Um, it's, 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 it's all, all lifting. Yeah, it's uh, it, it lifts it's with uh, air shocks. <laughs> he lifts with air shocks, uh, which means he has some limitations. Right. Oh, and as long as you know yeah. the limitations, then uh, you can go, you know, on your business. Okay. So, and so you've got a you got a roof rack. So what is this? Uh, ARB ar uh, yes. awning. It's an awning. An awning. Okay. You got your extra gas up there. And yes, extra gas because this car uses a lot of gas. And I see you made some modifications to the front end here also. That is correct. What kind of winch do you have? you have a worn? We have a worn winch. There you go, yeah. And we have a bumper that we bought in Australia. Okay. Because unfortunately they don't make this in, uh, in America. Now y'all didn't use this today to pull out the red Jeep. You just used a strap, right? Yeah, just a strap. Yes. Okay, well we, we almost needed it. So uh, uh, my winch failure, we could have been there. Okay, well, let's hit the road. Yes. Well, the route goes that way. And as you can see, it's it's got three, four feet of snow drift on it still. So we're not going to be hitting that. So it looks like we're going to turn around and head back out the way we came in. And oh yeah, this yeah, might be time for a coffee or something, you know.